Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Rock Bottom Earth Soft. It's good to see you again, and if this is your first time here, then as always, it is good to see you, and I hope you're going to stick around. Okay, well, welcome back. <laughs> it's good to see you all again. I hope you had a really good Christmas. I enjoyed my Christmas, thank you very much. <laughs> if you've been keeping up with myself, I'm, I'm sorry it's been a bit quiet over the last few days on Facebook and Instagram. You can find Rock Bottom Airsoft on there if you haven't already. Um, there was a post on there about a new replica that I'm getting pretty excited about, guys, and I'm really looking forward to showing you. So you can check that out on uh, Facebook and Instagram. Uh, there's not much on there about it yet because I haven't got it in my possession yet, but... It is on its way to me. <laughs> and that is my final scratch and itch for an LMG. So stay tuned and uh, we'll check that out in a future video. But we've all had our Christmas break. I've been on my Christmas break. That's why it's been so quiet here on the channel. So again, I do apologize about that. We have got the new year coming. So I'm going to do a video this weekend before we hit the new year. I mean, obviously it's uh, New Year's Eve on Saturday, but that's when this video's out. So, you know, at least we get a New Year's Eve one. <laughs> and then uh, there won't be a video on Wednesday, because again, family commitments over the holiday season uh, does make it difficult to get things out for you guys. So I do apologize about that in advance. However, as from the weekend after that, as from a week today, uh, we'll be back to our normal schedule. So there'll be a video out on the Saturday, and then there'll be a video out on the Wednesday. I will be getting to a game that week as well. So hopefully we'll get some gameplay footage for the midweek video on the Wednesday. Let's hope there's not too much snow. <laughs> but as always, I hope you all had a great Christmas. I hope the Airsoft Furries were good for you. And <laughs> you got some decent Airsoft gear. Let me know in the comments if you got some exciting stuff. Because, uh, yeah, I've got some exciting stuff to show you. <laughs> okay, guys, so with that out of the way, what, what, what we're going to have a look at today? Well, today we're going to have a look at another product from Feiichi. Again, I'm hoping I'm pronouncing that correctly, but that's what it looks like on the box. <laughs> uh, this, again, is another product that was sent to me for review. So, complete disclaimer. I didn't buy this, I didn't pay for it, this was sent to me for free, but as always guys, I hope you'd know by now that if I find anything wrong with the product, then I will let you know, and there's no point me not doing. So they re reached out to me after we had a look at a couple of the Red Dot sites, and asked if I wanted to have a look at some of their lighting options. Now, for you guys that play a lot of uh, CQB, or if you play the occasional night game like I do myself, then, you know... <laughs> Night vision and things like that is great, but very, very expensive. Um, most of us will usually make do with illumination options, or torches, as they're better known. And weapon mounted torches are great for airsoft, normally fitting on standard rail systems. So what we're looking at today, and what we're going to unbox and have a quick look around, is the Feiichi HL20. This is a, a compact torch, that is rail mountable and it's designed for rails to mount on your pistols or sidearms. Um, you could mount it on any rail you wanted, I suppose, but it is primarily designed to mount on a pistol. Now again, another disclaimer, this is the first pistol torch that I've actually encountered, guys. I usually mount some sort of lighting system to my primary, such as my rifle replica or assault weapon replica. Um, but my pistols, I don't tend to put a light on them. Um, well, let's just say I never have. Um, but I've always wanted to. So it's quite handy that they actually sent this one out for me to have a look at. Because the next time I get to go to a night game, or if there's any CQB in low light, I'll have this mounted to a pistol. We'll get a bit of gameplay footage with it in use and see how it performs in the field. But for today, as I say, we'll have a quick look around it and, uh, and see what you think. So the first thing we'd normally look at is how much one of these is. Now, if you want one of these here in the UK, you're looking at £49.99. So around about 50 British pounds. And you can get these direct from Amazon. I'll leave a link in the description for you for if you're wanting one here in the UK. If you're over in the States, you can get one of these exactly the same, $49.99. <laughs> so about $50 
US if you're over in America there, if you're over in the United States, you can get one of these for $50, uh, which, you know, for a pistol mounted torch, that's pretty affordable. Not mega cheap, but affordable. And hopefully, going off the other Fiat products I've looked at, good quality. So you're getting something for your money. And I've seen some favorable reviews of this online when I've been having a look myself. So all intents and purposes, it looks like it is a quality item and you're paying a reasonable price for it. So $49.99 over here in the UK and $49.99 for you guys over in the US. So let's have a look at it, see what you get. The packaging, first of all, it's... It's decent packaging, guys. Um, again, quality cardboards, the box is sturdy. I know it sounds daft, but it does make a difference when you buy an item and the packaging feels good quality. Very simple though, there's nothing on it, guys. Um, just basically a plain black box with a picture of the product, the product label, and the brand name. We lift off this lid, and we are greeted straight away with an instruction manual and the product itself. Now, I know I say this before, guys, but again, you get the batteries included. <laughs> I mean, how good is that? There aren't many things these days where you get the batteries included, especially with our replicas. One of the replicas that I've got on my way that I'm excited about, that I keep going on about, I've had to buy a load of batteries just to power the magazine on it. <laughs> it doesn't come with anything. So, before we have a look at this uh, this item in the box here, which again, guys, look at that packaging. It's all cut out form. It's really, really well presented, which means a lot. It reeks of quality, guys. And then we've got the instruction manual. Now, the instruction manual, yeah, I mean, it's, it's very basic. It's... Uh, it's, it's, it's glossy, um, but it looks like it's been squeezed in there. But again, it's got everything you need on there. It's got the parts list that you should have included. It's got the specifications of the torch. You've got a breakdown there of the controls on the torch, what, how to change the battery on it, and how to mount it to a rail. Uh, so everything you'd need and again, it's all in plain English. It's all written quite well. You've got details here of how to get in touch with customer services should you need to. So yeah, the manual, although small, and it's functional, guys. It's going to tell you everything you need to know. At the end of the day, it's torch. How much could you need to know? <laughs> but in all seriousness, it does tell you more than enough to be able to operate the torch. So you get the manual included there. Next up, we have the main event. You have the torch itself. So there she is. We'll put her to one side at the moment and see what else we get in this box. So you get four CR123 Alpha batteries, which aren't cheap if you had a look at your batteries yourself. Now you also get this little baggie. That's the, the box empty, guys, apart from the batteries, obviously. But in this baggie, I'm not going to empty it all out, but you basically get an Allen key for adjusting the tension on your rail mounting. And if you can make out on camera all these little plastic blocks in here, which is the main thing that you get in here, these little plastic blocks are your keys and they key it to the rail, which I'll show you a little bit more of in a moment. Um, but you get those keys to fit the vast majority of pistol rails, okay? So in the box, you've basically got the sight itself Selection of keys to mount to your rail, instruction manual, an Allen key for adjusting the tension on the rail clamp, and also four CR123A batteries, which is great. So what we'll do is, I think, as we always do, is we'll have a quick look around this torch, and then what I think will be better to do the close-up look of it is to show it you on a, a replica. Uh, so you can have a see how it would look on your pistol. So looking at the torch itself, it's interesting to note that it feels quality immediately when you pick it up. It's not heavy, but it's not light, if that makes sense, guys. It's got the weight of quality there. The body of the actual torch itself is CNC machined aluminium, and it's got a hard anodized finish. Now, according to Feiachi, this finish is mil-spec. So it should be able to take a bashing. Again, as with a lot of items for Fiatchi, it has been manufactured primarily with the firearms world in mind. With the firearms world in mind, if, if they can handle the abuse of recoil, etc. on a firearm, they should be more than able to withstand the rigours of an airsoft skirmish. But 
as always, that's something I'll find out in the field. As for the, the torch itself, on the side you have branding, Fiat HL20. It says here that it gets hot, and it's got here your battery polarities. Um, I would imagine it gets hot because of the LED in there and the driver for it, uh, but it's got that warning repeated on both sides, and then obviously tells you what your battery polarity should be when you mount the batteries. Nothing on the base there, just plain black anodized. At the front we have the lens of the torch itself. It's an LED torch. Now the LED that's in this is rated at uh, 400 lumens for the light output. Now I know guys, lumens, um, yeah, it's like candle power in it. I don't, I don't know really what you can make of that, but generally the higher the number of lumens, then the brighter your torch is. So obviously the more lumens, the more brightness you get. Now for us here in, shall we say a tactical setting, <laughs> or tactical, uh, here in Airsoft, you want to get your lighting right. One of the most important things is to produce a white light. Um, if you've got a colored distorted light, that can cause problems for target acquisition and aiming, because your point of aim can seem wrong because of shadows. Um, however, a white light can reduce that effect, and this is a white light lens and LED, so it should produce crisp white light, and I have checked it, it is white. The, the, the brand that they sell, Fiatchi, they reckon that this has a torch beam range of 150 meters. 150 meters, I can't verify that guys, I know it does go a long way, I've tried it outside on my own range, but going on you know, an actual game in pitch darkness. I haven't had a chance to use this in the field yet, guys. So if they're saying 150 meters, I could believe it. It is a very bright light. It does have a good beam on it. With the 150 meter range, if you're anywhere near that, guys, that is more than enough for a pistol mounted torch. Um, I don't know about yourselves, but for me, most of my sidearm encounters are gonna be relatively close range on CQB. So I don't need it to go more than 50 meters at the most. Um, 150 meters would be extreme. I doubt we'd be shooting over those distances with our sidearms. So needless to say, it should have more than enough range for your lighting needs. Now going back to the 400 lumens, that might not sound too bright compared to some of the adverts you'll have seen for torches on Amazon and places like that. However, in the game of Airsoft, you don't want it too bright, if that makes sense. You'll find that most of the replica mounted torches you can buy will be well below a thousand lumens. And that's why, because they produce a shadow and they give away your position a little bit less. It's still gonna give away your position when you're using a torch, guys. But yeah, 400 lumens is more than enough to be shining around on a pistol mounted torch. So that's great as well, guys. Now, the main thing that you've got to remember with the torch as well is that you want easy access to switching it on and off because you might have it on constantly, but most of us when we're playing airsoft in low light conditions don't. We just need a brief spell of light. Now, this switch on the back is easy to access. You've got permanently on if you want to leave it on all the time or if you press the other side, it's a pressure switch so it springs back. So on, off, on, off which is handy when you're only wanting to do a quick blast of light. Now there is no strobe function on this light, guys. Um, so if you were looking for something with strobing, this does not have strobing. However, as I say, as a light, it will do what you want. You can just flick it on and off, um, or you can have it permanently on, like say, if you are using it as a torch in game. The batteries that we mentioned, the fact that it comes with four of them, it only takes two to operate the torch guys. So two CR123 Alpha or A batteries. Those batteries, they aren't the cheapest batteries in the world, but they do last a lot longer than double A's or triple A's, um, which is why a lot of companies in this kind of realm are, are moving over to them. And a lot of Airsoft kit is starting to use CR123 batteries instead of the standard double A's or triple A's because they last a lot longer, they perform better, and they put out more power, which is better for, for our kit, but it does mean that the batteries cost a little more. I think on Amazon, you're looking around about eight British pounds for two of them. Um, so, you know, if it lasts a long time, not too bad, <laughs> but not the cheapest, not as cheap as double A's anyway. 
As to the uh, the mounting of this this replica, uh, this replica mounted torch, should I say, pistol mounted torch. What I thought we'd do is we'd have a look at uh, one of my replicas and mount it to that. Now, as you all know, who follow the channel already, I do particularly like a G series pistol, <laughs> which is what we've got here. This is my Armor of Works G series pistol. So what we'll do is we'll mount the replica to this pistol. Uh, sorry, we'll mount the uh, torch to this replica. <laughs> and then you can have a look at it and see what it looks like in all its glory when it's mounted to a replica. Now the mounting system is quite ingenious guys. You've got a screw on the side here to loosen off the rail piece which is here which is spring loaded. So once you've got the tension to what you want you basically put the static side on the rail and then push that and then let go and it's mounted. So again to take it off guys easy as pie just press the button and flick it off. Now the key I hope you can make this out on camera here that is the key there that we were talking about for the rails. Now you get keys in this package here that are like that and the mistake I've made there is that's what your Allen key is for. This Allen bolt on the side is so that you can release this key guys. The key, when you release it, you swap it out and you've got all these different keys for different pistols. Now the good thing is as well, and it does tell you what the codings are in the instructions, but you'll see, you might not see on camera, but this says GL on the key, which is for Glock. Um, this is obviously a G series pistol, a replica pistol, and this key is meant for a Glock pistol in the firearm world. So in theory, that should fit your key on the rail. You'll notice that it's keyed the rail there, you've got one slot for mounting accessories, and that is what this key is for guys, it should line up with that slot and keep your torch in place. And that's it. That's all there is to it. So the Allen key that we mentioned is for replacing your key. You have a flathead screw for adjusting the tension on your rail clamp. But however, once you've adjusted that, you should be good to go for it easy on and off. As for changing the batteries, guys, the batteries go in the rear. If we can uh, flip this up, I'll show you. You flip that part up there, and then the back just comes off and your two CR one, two, three alpha batteries, they go in there. And once you've got those in there, guys, you can pop the back back on, which is easier said than done in these gloves, probably better without the gloves, which it has got a waterproof seal on there as well, guys, which is worth uh, noting. You pop that back on, you've got a little clasp there that clips on, and that's you good to go, that's your battery's changed, then you press your button, put it back on the rail. So I think what I'll do guys is I'll pop this on this replica and then you can have a look at it and then I'll show it and uh, you can see what you think. <laughs> okay guys, bear with me, I'll be back with you in a sec. Okay guys, I'm back. That is the torch mounted to the uh, Armour of Works G-Series replica. As you can see, it doesn't interfere with your trigger, it doesn't interfere with your operation of the pistol at all. Um, but if you like me, you can reach, you can see I can press that on off nice and easily. It's firmly mounted, it's keyed in no problem. And like I say guys, I think it looks pretty cool. So let's have a quick look around it as we always would. And, uh, and then we'll, we'll have a quick chat. All right guys. Okay guys, well there you go, that's the Fiatchi HL20, um, I don't know if you agree with me guys, but I think it looks pretty neat, I think it looks pretty cool on the pistol, it does make the pistol a bit more front heavy, as you probably imagine, because you've got that mounted on there, um, but apart from that, yeah, controls are easy to get at, it's easy to mount, it's easy to change the batteries, relatively affordable it's not mega expensive compared to other pistol mounted torches i've come across as for holsters 
I'm not sure guys, I'm going to have to get a hold of a, a holster that's light bearing that can take one of these with a torch mounted on it and then give you an idea of how it fits in the holster but it's pretty secure on the rail I'd be quite happy to run it in game like that pretty cool overall guys, definitely still pointable and you've got a light on there as well now the torch works, as I say it's got good features seems well made, seems well put together looks good on the pistol so if you do want one guys, I'll put a link in the description as to where you can get one I will try and get a video up next time I'm at a night game or as I say in low light conditions with this mounted to either this pistol or one of my pistols <laughs> and use it in game and then you can get an idea of how effective it is in the field but apart from that guys, I, I really hope you've enjoyed this, this look at the Fiarchi HL20 I know I've enjoyed having a look at it, I'm surprised how cool they look on the pistol, very tactical you know <laughs> Um, right guys, so that's, that's that, if you've got any questions about that torch or about Airsoft in general then as always drop a comment below, I will always respond to a comment, might not get back to you straight away but I will always respond. I've got loads more stuff coming up in the new year, like I say new replicas to look at, hopefully get some more gameplay. Hopefully get out to some more sites this year guys um, With the injuries I've had if you've been following the channel It's been difficult to get out to other sites But this year will hopefully be my year to get out to some other sites With regard to the previous Fiat we looked at the two red dot sites Do not worry guys I am the most disorganised person in the world But I am going to send a site each to two of my subscribers as I say, not a competition, just a thank you for supporting the channel. And as I've always said, I wish I could give you all one for free. But obviously I've only got two. <laughs> so I am going to put an announcement out about who's getting those. I just need to go through my complete list of subscribers. And uh, put a random number against each one. And then generate a random number and figure out the postage. <laughs> but I am still doing it guys. It's just me being a bit behind. So keep a look out for the community posts. If I don't, uh, if I, I manage to pick the names out before the next video, I'll put it out in a community post and then I'll mention it in the video anyway. And just remember guys that the next video after this one is a week today. So that'll be on Saturday next week. And then we'll go back to our normal regime of videos, which will be Saturdays and Wednesdays, midweek and weekend with our normal videos. But in the meantime, guys, I hope you have a fantastic new year. I hope you have a really good time. I hope you enjoy your airsoft between now and then. As always, guys, thank you very much for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.